our part has an argument called control. But if you look at the description, interpretation, it's a list of options. And you get to that here where you can control the min split, the min bucket, the complexity, the and min split is the minimum number of observations that must exist in a node in order for a split to be attempted. And I always get this one confused. So if min split is 10, it does not mean the tree should have 10 splits. It means that the tree should not split unless at a splitting point there will be at least 10 observations on each side. So it's kind of a misname. Min split 10, you think, well, that means the tree should split 10 times. It doesn't. Min bucket, minimum no number of observations in any leaf node. CP is a complexity parameter. And so you can, you can, what this does, what the control argument in our part does, because our part is designed to grow the bushiest tree possible. You might want to limit, you might want to constrain that. And uh, for example, if you have 20 variables, you, you might want to limit, you might want to put constraints. You don't want the bushiest tree. And that's what you can, imp that's what you can control or affect with the control variable in our part. So let's do this again. And we get the formula and we get the, uh, we run the function and put the results in body fat R part, and then we look at the attributes. And the attributes are a little different. Um, note, these are the attributes of the outputted object. And the outputted object, the fitted object, the fitted tree, it's just one tree, it's the bushy tree, has all of these things. Okay? So this is a more complex function in terms of the output. And um, what you want to do, you want to prune it back to the point at which the minimum error is not improving. Or said a different way, if you look at this one, it's the X error. The X error is very big, gets a little smaller. With each split, these are, um, you can consider these different trees. You could say the first tree is just the root node. This is the, the base split, then we have two splits, but you could look at this as different trees, even though each of these splits in the same tree. And at some point, the error rate starts to turn up, which is right here, between this one and this one. Just very sl slightly, but it is, it's starting to turn up. So that tells us that um, six splits, not seven, six splits is the best, is the pruned point. You want to prune it back to six because you, you're not, it's not predicting better beyond that. So you might as well stop there. Okay, so this is a more complex algorithm than just the C tree. And so we do that. We, um, there's the CP table, that's what we're looking at. Now, we can plot this, we can plot this uh, bushy tree, and it does it in two, two parts. It, first of all, you say plot, it just draws all the, the graphics, and then text actually adds the variables and their uh, division, their split points. And there's some, it gives you the numbers, it's cutting it off a little bit, but n equals 6, and all the leaves, it gives you the numbers. Okay, but now we want to prune the tree back. Note we fit the tree and we assigned it to this object. But based on that CP table, we want to trim it back. So we do that at the minimum where CP, where X error in the CP table is at a minimum. And that's our opt. Our option, option, and then we, we, what we want, what we really want is the complexity parameter at that level. This we, so we choose this minimum error, but what we're after is this, the complexity level. Okay, so we we screen that out uh, by 
like this by in just indexing the table so that we get the lowest one of these and get this value. And we put that in CP and then we run the prune in this, in our part, in the R part package, the pruning function is, is prune. In the tree faction, tree, the tree package that we're not going to look at, the pruning function is prune.tree. In another package, it's prune.csv. So each of these packages that do recursive partitioning, like this one, have analogous and overlapping functions that perform the pr pruning second stage. Um, so anyway, we do that, prune it back, and then we print the prune tree. And if you go back and back and forth, you'll see that the prune tree is just slightly smaller than the unpruned tree. The unpruned tree had these nodes 22 and 23, and this one doesn't. So this example, it's it's really unusual actually for the tree to be pruned at the at six splits. That's a very high level, high, high number. Normally the error tends to bottom out and start going back up after three or four splits. You you don't these are these are um, it's non-parametric. It's not an exhaustive search of uh, it's it's not an exhaustive search of all of the predictive variables. It's a kind of a heuristic approach. So um, you and you may unless you set the seed, you may actually get different trees every time. Well, not on the same set. On the same set of data, if you grow one tree, it'll be the same. But if you use a bagging approach, and uh, let's talk a little bit about bagging. Okay, let's finish this, and we'll talk a little bit about bagging. So then, now we're gonna we want to predict from the prune tree on the test data set. So uh, we do that using the predict generic function, and remember there are only whatever thirty percent was, and. Uh, you must make sure that your plotting window is big enough here. This is a this dynamically interacts with the plotting uh, frame, and so if it's too small, you get this error. It's not an error in the script. It's an error because it's not big enough to put out the plot. If you run an, a 45 degree AB line, these are the predicted amounts. These are the observed amounts. If you're predicting perfectly every point should be right on the line or real close but we're actually predicting in groups we're predicting at levels or striations so the at each level the predictions will be in a horizontal line that will straddle this like you see here so the best case is that Here's one line, here's one line, here's one, here's one, here's one. The best case is that the 45 degree line goes right through all the middle of them, which is pretty much what you see here. 